tag team back again. Back again. Okay, wait, hit it. Let's begin. Because you would go back. We're eating popcorn, you know why? Yeah, time for the Amazon Prime movie review. Last time we were together, we did Netflix reviews. Yes. Movies, TV shows, ran, and we just said, hey, let's watch this. Mm -hmm. We text each other like, hey, let's watch this, check it out here. So we kick things off with a cute show that was actually inspired by true stories about love. Yes, yeah, starring Anne Hathaway, Deb Patel, and Tina Fey. Now, the romantic comedy anthology series shares the stories about the joys and sometimes the pains of love. These stories are inspired by the real-life personal essays that were published in the New York Times. Mm -hmm. Okay, so T, yeah. you're the one that first encouraged me to watch it. Because at Amazon Prime, there's a big banner that says, starting October mm -hmm. 18th. And so we gave it a try to watch, both of us watched the first two episodes. Mm -hmm. Each episode has different actors and different storylines. But again, based on true stories. All right, what do you think? Loved it. Loved it. L I mean, a lot. Mm -hmm. Because I'm like this. That, that was really true? Mm -hmm. How cute is that? And what I do love about it is in some of the stories, it's not just a man and woman. Sometimes it's about the bond between a mother and a child or the bond between maybe an, an older person and a younger person. Yes. It just depends on the story. It's just a story. So check it out, Modern Love. And it's uh, like each... Um, um, show is 30 minutes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a quick watch and it's fun. You'll fall in love, as it says, modern mm -hmm. love. Mm -hmm. All right, it's that show that everyone is currently loving. It's called Fleabag. Actress Phoebe Waller Bridge plays a woman just trying to find her groove in London. The show has quickly become one of the favorites and uh, won some awards on the uh, recent Emmy Awards here. I'm like, what's this Fleabag about? So you turn it on, you watch it. This is not really exactly. Mm, it's not for kids. Definitely not for kids. <laughs> and she kind of, um, kind of leads you through the story and talks directly to the camera. Um, you want some popcorn? Yes. Okay. Eat that while okay. I review. Okay. Another show that I love. It is witty. It is funny. The writing is so incredibly well done. The main character is charming. She's she's great. Yeah. Again, not for kids. Um, I would say this is great for. <laughs> Women. <laughs> yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Hang out with your girlfriends and watch it. There's a lot of things that you would probably mm -hmm. um, agree with in terms of her dynamics with her different relationships and whether it's the boyfriend or the sister or right, family right. members. It's very funny. Great, great, great show. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm giving that an A, plus, by the way. Okay, Modern great. Love. A. Plus. Okay. What about uh, you? For a, plus for Modern Love, and this one I'll give it A minus. All right, sounds good. It's a new show that mixes fantasy and crime. Stars Cara Delevingne and Orlando Bloom. Carnival Row was released on Labor Day weekend. Highlights what happens as a human detective and a fairy kick off a dangerous affair. So I tried to watch the first episode. So did I. I watched probably about 20 minutes. And? Fell straight asleep. It's on the dark side. It's very dark. I mean, I will say it's visually stunning. Mm -hmm. It looks good. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, I don't watch Game of Thrones, but I feel like if you like Game of Thrones, you might like. I this. have to give it a chance. Cara Delevingne does a really, really good job. Mm -hmm. She's one of the the fairies. They have these cool wings and all that stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. I, it's hard for me to review it because I didn't watch enough of it. But if it's if I'm going based on the first 20 minutes that I watch, I'm going to go ahead and give it a C minus. C minus. Oh. No, I'll give it a C because it it did look it did look nice. Okay, visually. I'll give it a B. Right. B minus. We wrap things up with the brand new season of Man in the High Castle. This show has been going on for several seasons, and season four will drop on November 15th. The final season shows the resistance. Uh, Jazz now becoming a full-blown rebellion. It stars Alexa Davalos. It's based on an actual book and imagines what the world would have been like if the Allied would have lost World War II. Okay, so basically, since in World War II, if the Germans and the Japanese won the war, what would the United States be like? Okay. I could not stop watching. I only watched the first episode. I could not stop watching it. I didn't do my homework and didn't watch that particular show. And it was like this. <gasps> okay. <gasps> so you're going to rate it what so far? A minus. So I'm going to, okay, then I, I have yeah, to watch it. Yeah, it's intriguing. It's okay. very intriguing. I'm like, wow. You know, when you t change uh, history into something that could have been, yeah. Mm 